Hello guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I think today's video may be one of my favorites. I am very into scents, so I'm sharing all of my favorite Pura scents from trying them out over the past like year and a half since I got my Pura device. This is a wall plug-in. I used to use the Bath & Body Works plugins, but I love the Pura device because it is non-toxic, it's safe for kids and for pets, and they have scents from multiple different brands, not just from like Bath & Body Works or ones that they create. So, like for example, I have some from Nest. I have the one that's currently in is from Capri Blue. So they have a bunch of different brands, Brooklyn Candle Company, they have Barco, they have Unify, they have Tommy Bahama, they have new Studio Mickey ones, they just came out with a Met collection. So there's so many amazing scents to choose from and a lot of them are very high-end scents that the candle would cost you a lot more than this wall plug-in will cost you. So you get the same smell and it doesn't cost as much. This wall plug-in device is Bluetooth connected so you control it from the app on your phone. You have two little spots for scents. You can create timers. So at a specific time of the day, like if you're waking up and you want like something bright and fresh and fruity, and then if you're going to sleep, you want something that's like lavender or linen or something that will help you kind of calm down. I love that feature. And then you know you're not like wasting it by having it plugged in all the time. It's only when you're going to be using it. So it also doubles as a night light. So you can change the color on that to literally whatever you want. I'm just gonna be walking you guys through all of my favorite scents. Some of these will kind of cross over in the category, but I tried to break them down. So, but for example, like Capri Blue Volcano is under citrus, but it could also go under fresh. Starting with citrus, I have the Capri Blue Volcano. I'm sure you have smelled the scent. I feel like it has a cult following. It's insane. If you've gone into anthropology, I'm sure you've smelled the Capri Blue Volcano candles before. The Capri Blue Volcano is their number one seller on their site. It has almost 47,000 reviews and the scent notes are citrus and fruity. Top notes are citrus, middle is tropical fruits, bottom is vanilla, but I'm absolutely obsessed with the scent. It is very universal, so it could be used in a bedroom or a living room. Really anywhere throughout the house, I think this one would smell good. Next up, I have Nest Grapefruit, and I don't have all of them here with me. Some of them are plugged in, some of them are in the garbage because I've used them. I think this would be a really great scent for spring. I think it would be an amazing scent for a bathroom, for a kitchen, for a laundry room. You could even use it in your bedroom. I've used it in my bedroom, but it is very citrusy smelling. It is another one of their best sellers on their website. Scent notes are pink pomelo grapefruit, watery green note. Middle notes are lily of the valley, coriander blossom. Bottom are white woods and sheer musk. Next up, I have floral. I do not love overly powering floral scents. These are definitely a more muted floral scent. And actually I think this is quite possibly my number one favorite is Summit from Unify Co. The scent notes are floral and woody, which is why I think I like it. I tend to gravitate towards the woody smells, but I absolutely love this one. It's not overwhelming. The top notes are lemon, watery apple, and pineapple leaf. The middle is star jasmine and freesia. The bottom notes are amber, cedarwood, and moss. I absolutely love this scent for my bedroom specifically because it is very calming to me. Um, it would be great in a living room or even a bathroom. The next floral one that I have is the Capri Blue Aloha Orchid. I would say this is more of a summer scent. It definitely has a tropical vibe. The scent notes are, the top is jasmine, middle is orchid and white gardenia, and the bottom is musk. Honestly, it would be good anywhere in your house. It is like the perfect floral, but not powdery, if that makes sense. 
For fresh scents, like I said, Capri Blue Volcano could also be considered a fresh scent, but I have Becky Owens Coconut Calm, which could also be considered a fruity scent. This one is just very calming. It does give like a summer vibe. It is like a very toned down coconut smell. It's not like the Bath and Body Works. Sometimes it's just like such a fake like sunscreen smell, like tanning oil or just like this overly tropical. This is a very like sophisticated coconut scent. The top notes are Solar Accord Fresh Cotton and Shea Butter. Middle notes are French White Mugget. I don't even know. M-U-G-U-E-T. No idea what that is. I've never heard of that. Coconut Butter, Creamy White Jasmine. Bottom notes are Sheer Musk, White Amber, Vanilla Bourbon Extract. Like I said, it is a very sophisticated coconut scent. Great for a living room or a bedroom. It is very calming. This one is showing currently sold out on their website, but they do have a little spot where you can sign up, put your little email in and get notified when it comes back in stock. And just a rule of thumb for any of these scents, I usually will subscribe to them because they are cheaper that way. And then if I don't like the scent, you can always trade it, but you can just cancel your subscription at any time. So I always sign up for the subscriptions. Moving on to Fruity from the brand Floral Street. Um, there is one called Wonderland Bloom. It is a little bit floral, but not too much. They actually had this at the Parade of Homes and I was so obsessed. When I, I like went <laughs> through the house and found all the Pura devices and like took them off so I could see what these scents were because I was like, I've got to try them. So it was this one. Top notes are Sicilian lemon, black pepper, and pink guava. Middle is violet, peony accord, raspberry flower, and bottom notes are vanilla bean, pink cotton candy, cedarwood, and patchouli. So it is not too sweet. I do not like sweet. I do not like floral. This is such a beautiful scent. It would be amazing in like a salon area, in a bedroom, in a bathroom. I love this scent. It is a great spring scent as well. Moving into woody scents, which is like my vibe, woody and amber. I have Barco's original scent. The top notes are milk and oatmeal, which sounds weird, but I promise it's good. Middle is vanilla and bottom is vetiver. I have no idea if I'm saying that right. I would say it is like a very relaxing, tranquil scent. Their website, it says comforting scent with stirring yet sweet seductive notes, which I feel like is a great way to describe the scent. I use this one in my bedroom, absolutely love it. Next along the woody vibe, I have the one that's actually in my device right now, Havana Vanilla from Capri Blue. Top notes are vanilla and bergamot. Middle is smoky tobacco and bottom is sandalwood. It is a little bit spicy, but a very like warm scent. But I feel like when I hear those words, I always think of fall scents. And this is not a fall scent at all. This is a very relaxing, like vanilla. You can use this year round, very comforting scent. And I think you could use this scent anywhere in your house. Moving into ambered scents, I have Anthropology's Ambered Topaz. I believe this is one of their best sellers, but if you've ever walked into Anthropology, the way the store smells is how this smells. It's amber and woody. The top notes are rich woods, patchouli, middle is spice, fur resin, and bottom is sweet amber herbal. The description is alluring notes of warm cardamom and lavender embellished fragrant cedarwood infused with rich, sweet amber, dark patchouli, and a hint of pine needle. This is definitely a year-round scent as well. I'm not really sharing any that I would only use in one season. These are pretty universal scents, but this would smell great in like an open living area, somewhere like that. Next, I have Brooklyn Candle Studios Santorini. This is another one I found from the Parade of Homes. The scent notes are top Mediterranean fig, middle red currant, and bottom amber and sandalwood. The description says Mediterranean fig, red currant, amber and sandalwood. Create a scent that will make you dream of the Greek Isles. 
it is amazing. This is up there with the Summit Unify. This is one of my favorite scents. It is amazing for anywhere in your room, but especially a bedroom or a bathroom. This is one of their best sellers. It is currently sold out, but like I said, you can sign up for restock notifications. The last scent that I have for you guys is from Studio McGee's new collection, and it is called Santal Vanilla, or Santal? Santal? I don't know. Santal Vanilla. The top notes are bergamot, white cardamom, middle notes are vanilla, almond, violet leaf, and bottom is sandalwood and amber. This is kind of a like romantic scent, like very sensual, if you will. It is also very calming. I would put this in a bedroom, but again, you could put it in your living room, you can put it anywhere that you want because it smells amazing. If you guys have any favorites that you think I should try, leave them down in the comments below. I would love to check them out, but that is everything that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you found a new scent you wanted to try. Don't forget to like and subscribe before you leave, and we will see you in the next video. Bye, guys. And